um, also making Islamic ruling with no knowledge is like leading oh yeah the blind, blind leaving the blind blinding li leading a blind mm -hmm. fake Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says have you seen what Allah has sent down to you of provision of which you have made some lawful and some unlawful say has Allah permitted you to do so or do you invent something about Allah mm -hmm. be careful because there is a big punishment for these people who yes. are blindly no. also don't be arrogant things to avoid while seeking knowledge don't mm -hmm. be arrogant debating too much with the teacher mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. that you know more than the teacher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay don't do that or lack of listening mm -hmm. you know you tell the scholar don't do this and he goes and do it right because although the scholar did it but he is just being rebellious and he does not listen and that actually will block the knowledge from that person because if that person consistent consistently being arrogant and not doing what they're not what they're supposed to do allah will block that knowledge from them at the mm -hmm. end okay mm -hmm. and will seal on their heart and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from from being arrogant also things to avoid while seeking knowledge is to always watch yourself not to do sins because sometimes the sins will be a burden between a person and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and between the person and the knowledge mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so uh, always repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always ask Allah for forgiveness mm -hmm. and always you know if you didn't know anything ask Allah for forgiveness and try to to humble yourself before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't be biased to one school of thought and I already talked about this mm -hmm. okay and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and obey Allah and his messenger and do not dispute and thus lose courage and then your strength would depart and be patient indeed Allah is with the patience uh, becoming a scholar before the time that's some things mm -hmm. uh, things that people has to avoid you know many of the scholars and i've seen them like, just because they read one book for ibn taymiyyah or ibn taymiyyah one of the scholars and that's that's it they think that they became scholars mm -hmm. <laughs> they became scholars and they start teaching mm -hmm. okay <laughs> teaching what teaching from no knowledge from ignorance right mm -hmm. so that usually the scholar with no knowledge like people who become scholar before their time mm -hmm. either you will see that they have prejudice they have pride they have arrogance mm -hmm. they fall into so many mistakes that other scholars they start you know they start exposing them mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. they tell you that oh this is not a good scholar because he's doing and he said this and that and this is against what the hadith say or this is against what allah says in the quran mm -hmm. and also mostly not accepting the truth and advices if someone comes and advise them you would see that he's arrogant and he doesn't want to listen he mm -hmm. thinks that he's only right and everybody else is wrong mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. and so he, he this is not a good scholar also uh, things to avoid while seeking knowledge is having suspicions and negative thoughts about others whether the other students that they are or the scholar himself mm -hmm. okay we shouldn't have some you know some suspicions about like oh our scholar he's saying this oh but i see him doing something else we shouldn't do that maybe he has a reason why he's doing it differently mm -hmm. right. you see what i'm saying right. we don't know what this reason mm -hmm. maybe because it's not our time yet to reach to that level to understand what he's doing mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. like that 